Hey everybody, today I think we're going to start a new series. So if you watched a couple of videos back, one of my commitments this year was to not buy any new gear and to really focus on learning what I got. So in light of that, I found some really cool recipes, synth recipes. Specifically, uh, we're going to start off with drum synth recipes. Uh, today will be cowbell. So uh, we're just going to create this along here together and you can follow along in your Tempest or any any drum machine that uh, synthesizer like um, an electron rhythm or uh, maybe a, a VST. But any any drum synthesizer, you should be able to get some similar results as long as it's uh, it's capable. And one thing I did want to mention about the Tempest is I was the second owner of a Tempest. And when I first started using these recipes, I noticed that my initialized preset or my initialized patch, my initialized preset, which you can uh, engage by going here and hitting initialize sound, which we're going to do right now. So we're going to initialize our sound. You can actually save the initialized state as something different than it comes from the factory. So if you're not the original owner, I ran into a lot of hiccups when I started working through recipes because uh, the initialized setup had been saved as something different. So I will include a link. You can go over to my Patreon for free. This one will be for free uh, if you just want to download the uh, factory initialized patch to get started. But anyway, uh, the recipe, we are going to want to be make sure we're on 16 sounds so we can get to our actual uh, stuff here. And we're going to go to sounds here so we can see all the data. And for oscillator one, we are going to do a 50% pulse. And we are going to tune that to D sharp six, which is about 540 hertz. Whoops, I didn't want the fine tuning there. I want to, uh, oh, I got to do up here. Let's see. D sharp six. D sharp six. And now the other one, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do uh, G sharp six. Oh, and one other thing we want to do is we want to go over here and make sure that key follow is off for right now. So let's go to our second one. We'll turn that off. And go back over. I'm going to change this to a 50% pulse. And we're going to make that G sharp 6. So we got G sharp six and we got D sharp six. Kind of sounds like a 808 cowbell already. By the way, this is a recipe for 808 cowbell, not just any old cowbell. So it's pretty close already. Um, so a couple things that we can do, obviously uh, when it comes to personal preference, changing the mix, you're gonna get a different sound. We're going to leave it straight up. That's one of the things we can, you could play with. And then also uh, shifting, shifting the pitch of it. You could go back in and, and change those individual. We're going to leave it at the recipe for now, but that'd be one way to do it. Also, you know, if you hold down uh, that for a second, you can see how all four lights turned on. Now I can adjust the pitch in tandem for both. And I think you have to do it here. I don't think you can do it there. So you can adjust all the pitches at the same time. Put that back to zero. All right, now we're gonna play with uh, pulse width modulation a little bit. So we're gonna go into the LFO. Yep, did I go past it? We're looking for pulse width one and two there. So we're affecting both the pulse width one and two. So this calls for recipe calls for 30 and 30. So obviously this is another place where we could play around to customize. Um, just playing around with both of those. So make note of that. That's a good place to go back and experiment to make your own. You could also try um, just modulating one of the pulse widths and not the other one. 
Now for the amp envelope, uh, one thing to note on here, I, I think that by default, and correct me if I'm wrong to some of you Tempest owners that have been around for a long time, but I noticed the first time I tried a recipe that uh, the ADSR was on. So, and I was not getting the same kind of results with the envelope. So you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, the AD mode is on, which means your light is on. And then we're going to set uh, our decay to 100 Whoops, shift is still on, you gotta be careful there. So we got 100, so we have a nice long tail to play with. Now, here's a trick I see, it's not really a trick, it's kind of a well-known uh, open secret, but one of the keys to getting um, a better shape for percussion in the mod pass is that you want to uh, affect the amp envelope with its own uh with its own you want to affect the amp decay with its own envelope and i'll explain that just a little bit more here in just a second because i can't walk and chew gum at the same time so we're going to go to amp envelope decay so we're going to use the amp envelope to edit the amp envelope decay and what that's going to do is instead of uh, instead of just having like a, a linear envelope it's actually going to curve that envelope so we're going to get more of a uh, transient kind of envelope I guess and so this is going to be subtle but to taste you can definitely hear it though so that big long decay that we had up here obviously to taste so we're getting pretty good that's sounding pretty good there and obviously you go back in and adjust the decay too, but uh, I would just leave that where the recipe calls for. And now it calls for increasing the attack just a little. Like somewhere maybe around there. Now for the filter. So it says uh, keep the res at zero and close down the filter until it's quite muffled. somewhere in there it'll be muffled now we're going to go into the low pass filter and increase the attack and the envelope amount so the envelope amount first And then it says increase the attack to match what we had. So over here we had seven. So let's do seven here. So it's also saying to do the same thing that we did that we were just talking about, about bending the envelope. So we're gonna go into mod pass, go into two. We're gonna go filter envelope to the filter envelope decay. All right. Sounded pretty good. And then lastly, we can bring up the high pass filter um, to filter out any lows we didn't want. That's pretty good. So that's the basics. A few other things it says uh, to try is to add audio mod or FM. So let's see what that sounds like. Let's get like a kind of springy distorted sound, but subtle amounts. I like very subtle amounts, that sounds cool. And then the other uh, thing to try is the feedback, and it says if I uh, crank this up, it will sound more block-like. I'm not hearing that block-like sound, but. Another couple of things that said that you could do uh, just for fun to try is to modulate the high pass filter um, to make it cut off the sound. 
Um, you could also affect the pitches in relationship to each other, like we mentioned before, by changing the pitches of each other, or also just going in and layering in another sound. So we got the two uh, digital oscillators. We go find another cowbell to layer in there or, or noise. I mean, you know, we have tons of them in here. So that's kind of a cool way to add, add other uh, um, sounds. And then the last thing is we can go in and turn that key tracking back on or key following. And now if we go to 16 tunings, I'm not sure I would do that with the cowbell, but you never know. Maybe, uh, maybe you just want to play a different pitch of the cowbell. I don't know if I'd play it chromatically, but maybe find one that's in tune with your song. So I hope this uh, was a cool exploration for you guys. I hope you learned something, especially if you have a Tempest. Hopefully you're able to follow along and you got uh, the same results. I actually noticed that um, every time I've done this patch, I've gotten slightly different results. So I would encourage you to, to create it from scratch. Uh, multiple times and then you can save it and see how different they are from each other or um, just learn from each one like the first time uh, I mentioned that when I used the feedback I didn't hear the blocky sound uh, last time I created it I did hear the wood block um, from cranking it up so I'm not sure uh, what setting I have that's different but obviously each time you create it you're gonna kind of do it by ear and your settings will be slightly different so you'll yield a bunch of different results and then I encourage you also uh, even if you don't do it multiple times, save it as a patch that can be kind of like your springboard for creating cowbells, your initialized cowbell um, patch, as it were, to, to build off of. So, And I think what I'll do is, as, as I get better at doing these and I find kind of a good default, I'm going to save them all in a kit or I'm going to save them all in a set and then I'll make that all those defaults available in like one uh, master file to uh, patreons or over on gumroad so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you got any questions or comments i know there's people that are way better at synthesis than i am like i said i'm just uh, forcing myself to learn and, and by teaching you guys and showing you guys i'm learning myself so please leave any comments or uh, ideas you have below and subscribe over to the patreon leave a like and subscribe below and i uh, hope you have a great day god bless